So it is fast week, all right. I was just uh, joining a, a live event by SK Craft where they told me this was the case. And uh, then I asked the boss lady whether she could uh, use another vase. And of course the answer is yes. So what the heck. What I have here is a nice big piece of poplar cut down on April 1st this year. No April's full. It hasn't been drying a lot because it has uh, only been raining here ever since. But still, I want to put it on the late. If I can get this center right. Yes. It will also give me an opportunity to uh, test one of the new tools that I have uh, recently made. Namely, this uh, reground uh, uh, roughing gouge, which I'm now using uh, as an awfully big uh, spindle gouge. The grind isn't perfect yet, but it cuts like crazy and... Uh, I think this is exactly the right wood for uh, for this tool. So we'll start off with the spindle roughing gouge and uh, then I'll try to do as much as I can with, uh, with that one. About 700 rpm this is. This is where a late knife really uh, comes in handy. This is a, a fairly heavy piece of wood. And um, I don't really trust myself to, uh, to part that little knob off at full speed. Because you never know where the, 
blank is going to end up. But I think we are there for size. Yes, we are. A bit oversized even, but uh, that doesn't matter. So the tenon is there. And that's it. According to the one third, two third rule, I've made a, a measurement at uh, this is 90 millimeter, this is roughly twice that size. Um, this is going to be a very uh, conventionally shaped uh, vase. So I will round off this part and I will um, create a, a large cove on this side. And that's basically it. And the inside we will drill out with uh, a Forstner bit. I've done only a light sanding of the outside before we get to the drilling. Only if the drilling is uh, completely successful uh, will I proceed to the next stage. I've learned uh, by experience that uh, drilling uh, um, in end grain with a Forstner bit, especially those bigger sizes, is uh, no fun. So, uh, wish me luck. The lathe is in second gear. I'm about half speed. Because speed doesn't mean anything uh, with this kind of drilling. I've tightened my uh, drawbar uh, as best as I could. To prevent uh, the, um, the tool from rotating. And uh, here we go.
I was just about at uh, my depth and then the the foot gave way but actually that's not uh, a very big deal I think uh, we can still find a way to salvage here I can namely make uh, a smaller recess for another chuck and simply take this off the foot is big enough uh, as it is so maybe it will even look prettier uh, it simply broke uh, away along the grain let's see how deep I am now Twenty centimeters. That's uh, what I was aiming for. Could do a little bit more. Sanding sealer has dried and I'm going to uh, give this uh, thing uh, a nice coat of uh, Yorkshire grit. some linseed oil on the inside to help it uh, seal uh, there I've just uh, put in my logo wiped off the excess this one's good to go thanks for watching and thanks for the challenge fast week <laughs>